What's up out there? Welcome to Adventure Mode Episode 1. Now, this is the second Adventure Mode that I have done. And the first one we went through and beat the Impending Darkness boss, I found the account kind of redundant or the, the character kind of redundant because I already have a standard account and I already have a hardcore account. So just another adventure account to maintain until the expansion came out seemed pointless. So I deleted it and moved on. Here we are. The idea behind this was not to actually do an adventure run, which is going to be an adventure run. Um, the idea behind this was to see how effective Township could be in the new world. We've now got Township. We've now got the expansion. Um, I have not experienced the game from start since the expansion dropped. So, I, you know, we've got all the changes with the 120 leveling and the gear. How does Impending Darkness feel? How does Into the Mist play? Because you can hit 120 on all your skills before you even go into these dungeons. You can't use the in the expansion gear, but you can use the expansion levels. Uh, you've got all the obstacles from agility where you've got Slayer Area Reduction. Like that changes the gear you can use for the um, Impending Darkness Slayer Areas and stuff like that. So there's a lot of changes that we can take advantage of. And I was kind of curious about it. What this account started off as is I just wanted to see how effective Township was with the Township tasks. I've been really curious, once you unlock Township and go into these tasks in here, uh, all these easy, normal, hard, very hard, and elite, it doesn't matter when you complete these, they all count. So there's no barrier or gate keeping you from going into the normal tasks. So once you can do any of these, you can just start completing them all. They Most of them give you money and items and Slayer coin and all kind of good stuff. So I kind of wanted to see how this felt to start a new character, a, a new adventure character specifically, because you have to buy all these skills. And I wanted to see how Township played into that. And really, all I wanted to do was play enough of this to unlock all the skills and say, hey, cool, that's how it worked. Um, but I was thinking about it this morning and I, I kind of got into it a little bit and I was, I was thinking to myself, you know what, I'm probably going to spend some quality time with this character. I'm going to get really into it and then I'm going to want to keep going and go through the expansion. So here we are, episode one adventure. Now I know some purists out there probably want to see the very first button I click on this. Uh, I have not died yet. And this account is one day, 19 hours and 52 minutes old. So I started this almost two days ago now. And all I have literally done, the only thing that I have done is fought plants. There is no other monster that has been fought. There's nothing else that's been done. Uh, basically, all I did was turn this on, let it get to, I think, level five or 10 of each attack, strength, and defense. Then I set it to idle. Uh, I just made sure I didn't die. Then I just turned the idle, the offline combat on saved it and moved on. I figured eh, if it died, I'd just restart it. There's no penalty for death. You lose something. The only thing I have is this bronze sword that I started with. In fact, I sold off the, uh, I've sold every piece of food that I've gotten. Uh, you start with shrimp and a bronze sword. I sold the shrimp to help get through. And I've got a little bit of potatoes built up, not much, but I've got some. Most of it just falls by the wayside because I don't log in, but once an hour to check this thing. And every once in a while, I'll switch between my skills. Like I've been ratcheting them up. I'll go with strength for a while. Then I'll go with attack. Then I'll go with defense. So we're built up fairly well. <clears throat> and plants are the flavor of the day because I just wanted to idle on something. I didn't actually want to spend time with this account. I just wanted to get enough to unlock township. So I apologize if you wanted to see the very first button click of the combat, but this is really all there is. There's nothing magical to it. Uh, there's nothing exciting. It's just been floating back and forth. You can see exactly where I'm at. The one thing that I did is powered into township. Uh, I made sure I think it was, I needed 10 grand to unlock the first skill. So I waited till I got 10 grand, unlocked township. I selected the Terran God map 11. That's the, as far as I know, that's still like the big choice to make. As soon as I could unlock this skill, I unlocked it. I now have 588 ticks. I just wanted to get this thing collecting ticks. So in the previous time we did adventure mode, I would have said start off with something like a maybe agility is your first skill or astrology or I don't know, fishing, something to make money with, 
something like agility that, you know, has better, better, more benefits down the road. You know, I would have started off a little bit differently, but with Township, I think this is going to be huge. So we need to make some initial steps, and I've been waiting to make this video to do this. Uh, we need to make two basic shelters and a farmland. You have to do, you cannot unlock this unless you've completed three Township tasks. So the only thing I did was get Township unlocked so it would start collecting ticks. This doesn't actually collect ticks until it's unlocked. And I wanted to have something to show in this video rather than just clicking on a plant and walking away and then coming back and, you know, doing the township thing. This way, I actually have something we can discuss and, and look at. So we need two shelters and a farmland. So we're going to go over here to build. Um, let's see. We're going to build two shelters and a farmland. We can't do farmland there. So we'll do farmland do, 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 do here. What I'm trying to show you is that starting the game from complete scratch, I've done nothing at all. I am just going to go in here, do three tasks. I'm going to get this unlocked, and then I'm just going to leave this set for a while. I'm not going to worry about building Township up at the moment. We'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, we need one shelter and one woodcutter camp, so we'll go to the forest. We'll build a woodcutter camp and a shelter. That should complete this. So now we're gonna get some more stuff for township. And I need three shelters and a farmland. So we go to build, where can we build three shelters at? Can we do here? One, two, three. And we'll go to the valley and do a farmland. It literally makes zero difference. I have not bought any land in here. I have done nothing. Now we can claim these rewards. That's it. Now we can go over here to the I think it's an easy task that we have completed. Um, see, we got potatoes, onions. Yeah, kill 100 plants. I'm going to get 5,000 gold, 1,000 Slayer coin, and 20,000 potatoes. So, boom, just made 5,000, got 1,000 Slayer coin. Just that easy. Just that easy. Um, let's see, do we have any other tasks? Can I click on here? Nope, nothing else. So, from this point forward, um, I'm going to try to figure out how to unlock skills or what skills to unlock next. And I don't know yet. I don't have a feel for it. I wanted to get to this part, get this video out and then decide on things going forward. Um, we could unlock cooking and certainly get these two done fairly quickly. That gives bars and logs and, you know, some more Slayer coin and stuff. I kind of want to unlock Slayer first. Uh, this is 25,000 gold, which I have the gold for from combat. So we can go ahead and unlock this now. Uh, the reason I want to do that is because you can come in here to easy tasks and go until you get plants and then you're making Slayer coin. Um, in theory, of course, it takes a while to get there. We're also of eh, only 24 plants. It's probably not worth to extend it, but it's also worth getting this because that's going to start building the Slayer level. Uh, that's going to keep that going forward. What's the next 50,000? So I could almost buy another skill. Actually, I can buy another skill. We sell all this. And then we have to go get more potatoes, but I can open up another skill. Um, the goal is going to be running through here and completing these tasks, like collecting bones, these skeletons and stuff, um, we could even go and collect some of these items and get a better uh, scimitar and stuff like that. Uh, thieving will have to get unlocked at some point. Thieving might be a good one to unlock now. Um, so the premise is going to be just to fulfill these tasks and see how these tasks play into uh, unlocking everything. Um, they give you decent money, especially when you get into some of these higher tier ones, like the normal ones. Like these aren't that hard. An amulet of looting gives you 25 grand. You kill the spider king. By the time we can do that, you know, probably turn in some mithril stuff, go kill the mithril knight for a little bit, collect these upgraded versions so I don't have to go grind out gear and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to do as much from the township task list as I can and then feed that into the town. And I'm going to try to do this before I actually start building the town because some of these are real cheap and e some of these skills are going to be cheap and easy to unlock early. 
And this gives you a lot of money and a lot of items and stuff to fulfill that. So that's what I'm going to try to work towards. I don't have a goal for what skills to unlock in what order just yet. I'm going to think about that. Like I said, I kind of wanted to get this video done and out the door first. So this is adventure episode one. I know we're starting a little bit higher into the levels, but all I've done to this point is fight um, plants, sell off some potatoes and, you know, collect this stuff. And, and that's it. That's all I've done. Uh, the only thing you missed out on was unlocking township and let, and picking a God in, in a map. I mean, this is very basic. Uh, I don't really see the benefit of looking at the other stuff. So starting off at this point is probably not a bad thing. It gives us a good baseline to start with. And we can certainly level up quite rapidly, I think. And here's the other cool thing. With these tasks, there's no level requirement behind this. So I don't ever have to level up township at all at this point to do to do any of these tasks. So if I can get into thieving and steal all these basic bags, there's 10 million gold. You know what I mean? Like I can grow 500,000 carrots and collect this and, and just make tons and tons of money. So it's in, I think it's in my interest to work on this list and get this knocked out quickly, as quickly as I can. Um, sure, adding the township and actually building the city and doing the things with the town would be beneficial. But my goal initially is the task list. That's what I want to focus on. And this is what I want to work towards. So I'll be unlocking the skills as I go to feed into this, because I think these can feed into more like I, you know, if I could go kill some Golbans, I can get a steel plate body that I can already equip and I'm running, you know, it's a gold version of it. That gives me better armor. Killing 25 of these shouldn't be that hard. You know what I mean? Like a lot of this seems pretty simple to go do. So that's what I'm going to do is focus on this task list for the time being, maybe let it fight for a little bit. Um, but anyway, droning on that will do it for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.